Okay, so the process that we're going to be using is called decanting. What you start with is you take your, your wooden stick and you grab the copper like it's a bell. And you're going to just ring it like it's a bell. Everybody see what I'm doing there? What you should notice is I've taken just about everything off of this piece of copper. Okay. Once you've taken everything off of this piece of copper, you will then take a water bottle, distilled water bottle, and rinse all of the noticeable pieces of the silver off of this. You will then come to the front of the room, and there is a container of acetone. Stop talking and listen, please. Once you have cleaned everything off of this, you will come to the front of the room, dip the copper into the acetone. Remove it from the acetone. The acetone will connect to the water and evaporate rapidly, therefore leaving the copper completely dry. It takes all the water out of the nooks and crannies so it'll be completely dry. When that happens, you'll be able to get a clean mass of the copper that's remaining. You need that mass for today. Does everybody understand that? Once you have completed this task, you want to let this settle down and you want to begin the decanting. So while you're waiting for this to settle, you need to watch the next video that's on the slide. Does everybody understand that? Watch the next video on how to decant. My expectation is you will decant all of the liquid out of this beaker and then you will use distilled water and you will rinse this product and decant three times after you have uh, after you've decanted this liquid out so decant rinse decant rinse decant rinse decant then you will put the beaker back where it was overnight so it can dry for the weekend does everyone understand that are there any questions any problems then pitter patter let's get at her